Like, you being a lyricist, you all, what's the last verse you heard outside of your crew that made you say that nigga went in right there? Um, probably one of Rick, Rick Warren's new verses on the new mm -hmm. Wu-Tang album. Mm -hmm. On the new Wu-Tang album. Hey. So like, and, and that's another thing, cause you know, we could, we could fuck with PLD, but like another thing, like you, y'all and Wu came up together. Hey. Like, how is like when they, when they, when you know, you see people saying like the Wu-Tang album was bullshit, like hey. how you, how you felt about that? Like would you have did that if it was your situation? What you mean? Like, like they said the Wu-Tang album was bullshit. Raekwon, hey. um, Ghostface, everybody. Like, if, if you and Havoc did an album hey. and Havoc did the production, would you ever shit on an album like that? Like, oh, nah, 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 <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, me and Havoc always gonna agree with so before something come out, we always got agreement, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, a lot of people would want to probably want to know too, like, how the hell did you meet Alchemist? Like, how did you begin working with him? Um, that was through DJ Muggs, because Infamous Marv was working with DJ Muggs. Uh -huh. And Infamous Mob really twin game being on to the studio one day. It was like, yo, this kid got some LB. And when he first walked in, when you looked at him, what was the first thing that came went through your mind? I was like, who the fuck is this nigga? Cause I don't like new people, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Or I thought he was a cop for a minute, you know what I'm saying? And how long <laughs> how long did he have to, how long did it take for him to earn your trust for you to say he ain't five up? I had to see him make a beat. When I saw yeah. him make a beat in the crib, uh -huh. I was like, oh, all right, yeah, all right. Unless they training these niggas to fucking make beats now <laughs> and then sending niggas at niggas, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? So like, like your um, you you did a lot of work with with um Havoc and you do you did all mostly you know your whole body of work with Havoc. Hey. You did a lot of work with Alchemist. What's the difference between working with them two? Um, they got similar style. You know what I mean, Hav just when you hear that Hav shit, his shit just stand out for real. You know what I mean? Like Hav shit is just like that shit. You know what I mean? He get deep down in his soul with the beat. You know what I mean? And and we we know like for those who really know your career, know you was behind the boards too doing. Yeah. But what made you fall back a little bit and let Hav do most of the production? Um, it was really you know Hav started hogging the machine really. You know what I mean? <laughs> he wouldn't let me get on that shit. I'm like, damn, something more, son. Let me try something. He's like, nah, hold on, hold on, give me five more minutes. You know what I'm saying? So like right now, if if, if he was to go in the next room right now, and you had to crank some shit out, could you do it? Nah, I ain't make beats in like fucking, I don't even know how to work the machine now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit technology though, when up, it ain't. I could do it, I just yeah. gotta have somebody else work the machine. I'd be like, I yeah. sample this, do it like this. I, I I could tell them what to do. So do, do, you, do you bring samples and say, yo, I need you to flip this? Oh yeah, I always this? do that, always do that. You know so I mean? why you don't take credit for the beat? Um, If I do, I will. Oh, you, you do? Know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. All right. If, I, if I do something like that, I do take credit.